What's up, YouTube? Southern Comic Geek coming to you with some more Walmart comic book packs. Yeah, I went cray cray, went cray cray up in the Walmart because I went to the first Walmart, found all of these. I said, get them, get them, get them, get them while I can pick them. Uh, because uh, the Batman Long Halloween, I saw that comic was there and wanted to see what other kind of goodies are in there. And if you want to see too what they're in there, stay tuned for the video. Now, before we get into all of this comic book goodness, go ahead and smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Hit the subscribe button as well as the bell notification. So when videos like this one drop ever so randomly, you are one of the first people to know and can make the conscious decision as to whether or not to watch an hour later. As long as you watch it, we appreciate you. Talking about people we appreciate, how about the list of channel members, people that are supporting the channel through their monthly membership, whether on YouTube and or Patreon. We appreciate them. And if you are interested in joining one or both of those groups the link tree link is in the description below also in the link tree link is a link to all of the platforms that i'm on feel free to go check it out if you're on those platforms and you're not already sub or following me do so please thank you and it's always a good time to save some money and we can go to bcwsupplies.com use the coupon code scg at checkout to save yourself 10 percent on your order there's a link in the description below for that as well and i believe that if you order at least 200 dollars, which is not hard these days uh, but anyway, if you order $200 worth of stuff, you will also get free shipping. Now, uh, I had seen some people posting up that uh, comic book that people were getting at the uh, sh uh, initial showings of the Batman as an example of some of the books that were out. I said, oh, goody, goody, goody. I really didn't have high hopes that they would be down this far south uh, this early because uh, typically the south is behind on everything. Uh, but in this particular case, it was uh, there, and uh, I looked out, and uh, looks like I got most every one of them, if not all of them, in that particular box. So let's see what we got. First off, we got Nightwing 86. Nightwing 86, or 87, rather. Nightwing 87. This is kind of lame. <laughs> Batman uh, the World Free Comic Book Day. Now, the cover is certainly not lame. Uh, you know, Libra Mayho goodness, but uh, as as a lot of the art on the inside. However, it's Comic Book Day. Really? Really? Um, now, this is kind of cool. We get uh, Superman Red and Blue. Superman Red and Blue. That's a pretty dope cover. Pretty dope cover. It's uh, issue two. And then this is a Legends of the Dark Knight number one exclusive Francisco Francavilla team variant cover. So it shows the various Batmans. And the cool thing about hitting these packs up early in this particular case, they're all in really nice uh, shape because it's a cardstock cover. So once you do crack, you can't go back. And his set spines every time. Uh, and this is the back uh, art, which is pretty dope. Uh, you know, DC was uh, doing a, a connecting deal on the back. Uh, I guess they did some studies or something and said that people weren't really worried about that or something. Or maybe they were paying too much for the inside and interior because they probably had to pay the artist for every time they print that. Yeah, it's probably a cost saving deal of some kind. All right, we got Superman and Robin special number one. Um, only name on it I recognize is hmm. I remember this coming out, but I don't think it's. I mean, it couldn't have been out very long. All right, we got Batman eighty nine number four. We got that one. Batman twenty twenty one annual and detective comics 2021 annual uh so both of those would have been a good hit had i did, had i not already had those um and of course these are necessarily going to be laden with batman books because that's a lot of what dc does 
And since I get a lot of them already, it's kind of hard to not get one. But uh, I didn't have that variant there. Uh, that, I like that Superman red and blue and uh, the Superman and Robin special. So that's pretty cool. Let's see what we got here. We've got Superman, son of Kal-El, number six. We got DC Nation presents the uh, free book again. Now, there was a free version of this, which I had. It's a wraparound, nice wraparound cover that was introduced in Fear State, uh, Future State, rather. Uh, but then there was a one per store. Now, if this was a one per store, that'd have been awesome. However, it's not. Then we got Suicide Squad uh, from Future State, issue number two. Look at that, Stephen Spot reflection. And then we got Infinite Frontier number two, which Infinite Frontier, I think, just wrapped up or is fixing to wrap up. And it was okay. So, hmm. All right, not too much action there. Got a couple of good hits. And, of course, as I've said plenty of times before, but if you're new to the channel, I guess it bears uh, mentioning again that since there are four books for the same price as the Marvel 3 packs, then, uh, you know, your price per book is lower. And, therefore, uh, if you get a couple of duds, you're still okay. Ugh. So, Super, <laughs> Superman, Sonic, Cal, L number six. <sighs> As if they didn't put enough of these in my, the former packs. Now think about this. They had so many left over. They sold. There, there was literally a Batman zero point in every pack that had the mask on it. And they still didn't get rid of them all. Uh, Robin number eight. It's a pretty cool series. Uh, what's going on right now? And then we got Superman versus Imperious Lex number future state number two. So that pack was definitely a dud. Definitely a dud. Let's see what we got here. We got Batgirls number one. The art, I just can't get past the art. This is like, eh, it's just me. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about Batgirls currently. Now, this is pretty dope. Catwoman number 30. This is a Joella Jones cover. And again, I do like the fact that these are still very minty. Uh, so yeah, Catwoman 30 Joella Jones cover. Um, yes, yeah, so I already got this. I must have bought the uh, uh, Jenny Frizen cover on it. So this is kind of cool. I already got it though. Joker number three. And then we got Green Lantern, uh, number one. Hmm. So the the thing about hmm, might be worth the read. Dexter Soil in the art. Yeah, take a look at it. But uh, I don't remember what I was going to say. All right. Let's see what these packs. And it seems to me like these DC packs came out. I don't know if the ones Pro 4 were delayed getting here or if these went fast or both. Um, or it just seems like that this these packs come pretty close behind the other one. All right, Fear State Omega, number one. I don't think I have this particular. I don't even know that I have this. I don't even know if I have this because um, a lot of times if I, I don't have a pull list at the shop that I normally go to now. And so if, uh, yeah, I do. I can get it. And I got it at that shop back in December. Hmm. Well, for some reason, I guess it was lackluster. It didn't really uh, remind me. This is pretty cool. Batman Black and White, number six. This is a Ramita cover. So these are, these are pretty cool short stories done by various artists and various writers. So it's kind of cool. 
Well, this is a really cool cover. This is Batgirl number 48. Batgirl number 48. I believe I've got that cover right there. I don't. No, I don't. I got the uh, eight. I had gotten the eight cover. Well, that's a pretty dope cover. So that's going to go in the PC. So that's pretty cool. Wonder Girl number five. Wonder Girl number five. All right. So I've got two or three so far for the PC. So that is really dope. Pretty dope. All right, then we got another Fear State. We got Batman Urban Legends number three, which I have a copy of. I don't have this cover, uh, and it's a JR, uh, JR cover, so I'm not, not too meh about. But uh, Urban Legends on the early stories were pretty good. Another Batgirl 48, and another Wonder Girl Four, five, five. So there is that. Got Batman Killing Time number one. Now, I don't have this cover. This is the photo cover from the movie. And um, I really wasn't aiming to get into a new Batman series. And I wasn't really aiming to um, uh, get into another Tom King story, to be honest with you. However, I read the first issue. I'm like, this is pretty good. This is pretty good. But one issue does not the telltale. All right, so this is Rorschach. Uh, speaking of Tom King, this must be the Tom King pack. Uh, this is issue three. Very meh, serious to me. Then we've got uh, Rorschach number uh, whatever issue this is. This is the Picha Momoko. This is the Picha Momoko variant. Um, issue two. So this should be easy enough to sell. We've got Justice League versus the Legion of Superheroes. Bendis writes it. I'm out. <laughs> just, he just ain't doing it for me like he used to. But I'll probably keep that photo realistic cover uh, there. And we got uh, Batman the Knight. So speaking of, again, other Batman titles, I was not aiming to get in one, but when Chip Zdarsky's in on it, I mean, can you can you leave it on the shelf? I don't know. You tell me. Ugh. Another Batman Fortnite. Ugh. All right. Wonder Woman annual number 2021. All right. So annual 2021. And then we got Ruby number seven. Ruby number seven. Uh, this is not the uh, Ruby that everybody wants to get, I don't believe. Um, if it is, it's a different cover. And it, the, because those were in the former packs that just, uh, Ah, uh, it is the uh, that. See, the seven B cover is the Derek Chu version of that, and so <clears throat> the Derek Chu version was the one that was in that one. That's the A cover. So I don't think it was the fact that it was the Derek Chu. I think it was just Ruby Seven was supposed to have been scrapped. So that is probably a pretty good pickup. So FYI to the folks that are out there that are doing your homework. And if I'm wrong on that, then it's just the uh, chew cover that uh, is desirable. Let me know in the comments. But if you're out there hunting those packs, it was in the uh, Batman the Night pack. So this is the cool one. I uh, did want to pick up one of these. Uh, and then... This is the uh, Long Halloween. Really great Batman story. Of course, I've read it before. But then this is a great Simone Bianchi uh, cover uh, with it. World of Krypton, number one. It's a ser great uh, Miko cover. Robert Vendetti writing it. Arnold inside. Yeah. 
but uh, uh, cool thing, and I'm reading it currently. Superman number 31. So this is prior to Kal-El leaving. So Superman 31. And then we got Batman. Look at this. When did this come out? Uh, Batman the Long Halloween Special. This has got to be like a reprint of it or something. Or are these some more stories? Let me know in the comments down below because I've never seen this. It's a $7.99 cover. So it's got to be newer. Hmm. Let me know in the comments down below. It's probably a pretty good pickup right there for me. Anyway. And we're finally down to the last package. So looks like we got a really good hit with the Ruby. Got several Batmans that I don't have. Um, we got another of those. We got Batman, the three jokers book number two. So those are pretty good. Easy to sell. Uh, another one of the justice league versus the Legion of superheroes and suicide squad. Uh, future state number two too bad I don't have an issue one because I might want to read that because I've been digging the suicide squad thing um, don't know if it's just the cast because they as you know if you're familiar with suicide squad that is uh, that they've had it's always an eclectic team and it's always a team that uh, uh, you know oddball characters and uh you know, so I don't know if it's the mix of the team or if it's the uh, current writer on, the, but that, that's fixing to come to an end. Uh, but this is uh, Future State, which was prior to the new stuff uh, coming out. So let me know what do you think down in the comments below uh, of all of the goodies got picked up. Again, I do want to shout out our channel members. Most of these people are creators of their own, whether on YouTube and or Instagram. And so if you see a name that you don't recognize, take the time, write it down, go check them out, give them a sub, give them a follow. It might just make their day. And until next time, keep reading, keep collecting. Adios.